This is Travis Zimmerman with the Daily Pulse from Speak My Word Ministries. Our series continues on in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the love chapter. And today is 1 Corinthians 13, chapter 6 for the episode, Love Keeps No Record of Wrongs. And I really resonate with this one. And I've shared this in a previous, you know, doing these five years, you know, sometimes I have the same stories and I apologize for that. But this, this story is so prescient and precious at the same time. Early in our marriage, I've been married to my bride for 21 years now, thank God for it. Suzanne taught me something. And I think this is even in the first or second year of our marriage. She said, honey, she said, whenever we start to keep score, we've lost. In other words, hey, I mopped the floor, you know, I, I picked up groceries, I cleaned up after the dog, you know, th this list that we go through. So because I did these things and you've only done these things, stop. And my bride is correct. When we start to keep score, we've already lost. And, and Paul says as much in love keeps no record of wrongs. You know, it's a little different, but you know, if, I, if there's this tally running, there's this tally, you know, this person did this and that to me. And, and I, be, I begin to nurse on that and feed on that. And it, and it kind of gets the life of its own where, you know, it's almost like I have a, you know, something on them because, you know, they wronged me. But really, if we're objective with ourselves, we've wronged everybody. Yeah, maybe not everybody, but we, we have plenty of wrongs ourselves. And more importantly, we've wronged God. All of us, all have sinned. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3, 23. We know this. So when God forgives our sins, he puts them as far as east is to west. Why do we, as, as mere humans, have any business holding on to wrongs when, when we confess our sins to God? He forgets them. That's a sin. Putting aside that, you know, you know, keeping records of wrongs. Stop doing that, Travis. You know, join me in that and saying, you know, let's let's forgive, show grace in Jesus' name. That's love. Amen.